What's up party people, it's Dan, your basement guitar superstar. Behind me to my left, your right, I have another box of Bodaciousness, and I'm very, very excited about this one. It's obviously in a guitar-shaped box shape, or a guitar box-shaped box. English is hard sometimes. Anyway, which is ironic, because I'm back in school to become an English teacher, but that's beside the point. So, I have here a box, and this is the nicest guitar I own now. So, a little bit of backstory behind this. You all know that I love Chapman guitars and vintage guitars. I do not have an agreement with Chapman as of yet. Hopefully I will soon, once the channel gets a little bigger. But, Mr. Rob Chapman, who lives on the beautiful island of Malta, in the Mediterranean Sea has an agreement with my friend Charlie Busatil, who owns Band-Aid Music on the island of Malta, where when Rob is done using guitars either to record with, albums or songs, record YouTube videos with, do photography with, all of the above, like this one, he will sell them to Charlie, and then Charlie will give his patrons, like myself, a chance to own them as well. So Charlie, thank you for that. And Rob, thank you as well. Now you guys probably remember the Scarlet Witch from the channel, my Chapman Guitars ML2J. That was another one that was owned by Mr. Rob Chapman that I had the chance to acquire earlier. And uh, it is a Les Paul Jr. style guitar. Hopefully I'm allowed to say that. I'm not monetized yet, so I should be allowed to say Les Paul without getting in trouble. But anyway, they have their own unique flavor. This is absolutely awesome. So my two favorite YouTubers, they're kind of 1A and 1B, is Rob Chapman and Lee Fuge. They go back and forth sometimes, depending on my mood. But uh, yeah, Rob is one of my idols for sure when it comes to making videos and doing content. And he's been a, a supporter of me too. I know he made some comments on the live stream that not to let the haters get to me because, let's face it, I'm kind of a rubbish guitarist. But that's okay. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. I am struggling mightily to cut this box with this dull pair of scissors. Because, and fortunately for me, I just located my knife. So give me a second to get that bad boy out here. This will do much better, hopefully. So... I am absolutely over the moon about this guitar, it is gorgeous. I know you've seen it on Rob's channel and his Instagram before. And I will post a link to any videos where he did, where he uh, created content with this guitar. So it's a box inside of this one. And it's another box. The reason I have this flipped is I don't want you all to see my address. Now we have another box. How exciting. But once you see what in it, what's in it, it will be well worth it, I promise. So this is a popular bottle for Chapman guitars. It is one that in fact I think they still sell, depending on which website you get it to, or at least this finish anyway. Not the box. I'm talking about the actual guitar, in case you're wondering. So they sell this finish. I think they still have it in stock in like Toman, possibly one of the, um, I can't remember if it's Sweetwater or American Musical Supply that carries Chapman here in the States. But you can still get this finish. This type of guitar, however, the ML3 Pro Traditional, which is a Telecaster style guitar, they still offer with no problem. Um, in fact, they have three new finishes coming out this year. A couple that look to be teal, mint, green, and I think like an orange or something, if I remember it right from the video. Anyway, they look awesome, so go check them out. Maybe we'll do a reaction video. So this is a certificate of authenticity. 
This is to certify that this Chapman Guitars model ML3 Pro Traditional Classic Sunburst Metallic with this serial number. It's the original prototype model used by Rob Chapman in his YouTube videos. So that is awesome. I'll definitely keep that. Now the moment of truth. One thing I love with Charlie is he does a fantastic job wrapping stuff. Almost too good of a job sometimes uh, because I, I struggle my way to get his wrapping undone on some stuff. But then that's a good thing as well. That means you know your guitars you buy from them are gonna be gonna be protected adequately. So I definitely appreciate that. Oh look at that fretboard. Can already see it. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing, guys. So again, this is the ML3 Pro Traditional. And this finish that was owned by Mr. Rob Chapman himself. Another thing I wanted to point out, this is Clockwork Wolf & Company Handmade Brass Pick. See, it's got their logo on it. Hopefully you can see that, the camera adjusts to it. But that's pretty rad, that is thick too. I suppose they have to make it thick to keep it from, you know, doing its thing. I know Rob said the, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Sorry to interrupt. I know Rob said the action on this was slidey when he left it, but Charlie has done a setup on it for me. Put a set of Dean Markley Blackhawks on there. And this is the guitar. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, those of you that watch the channel know that I have an ML3 Modern. It's got the two humbuckers in it. This, obviously, is single coils. It's more of a traditional Telecaster style guitar. Not in tune, obviously. The strings have been detuned. But this pick is awesome. I'm looking forward to trying this. Let's show you the guitar here quick. While we're doing that, so you got your baked maple neck and fretboard. Got the glow in the dark dots on the top. See a Chapman ML3 Pro Traditional. Got the locking tuners on there. Absolutely love those. So the hip shot locking ones. Then I love what they do with the string trees on these as well. Traditional three-way switch here. And volume and tone knob. Obviously no reason to have it be a push-pull pot. And we've got the beautiful saddle. Let's just look at that finish. That metallic is absolutely gorgeous. And see, part of the reason I wanted to acquire this guitar, I normally do not like tobacco sunburst guitars, but I saw a picture of this where I could see the metal flaking in it, and it looked amazing. So I told myself, hey, I gotta have that. But anyway, I will give you more of the specs when we do the deep dive on this. This guitar is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually a little bit heavier than I thought it would be too. So I don't know. I'll look up what the body's made out of and all that. But anyway, this has been another unboxing of a guitar that Mr. Ra oh, you know what I forgot to do? I totally forgot. We have to sniff this. Smells really good. It passes the sniff test. So anyway, this is the nicest guitar I own now. I'll talk about the specs more in depth in the deep dive, but again, thank you to Rob Chapman for doing this, allowing uh, peasants like myself to acquire guitars that he used to own and play. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate Charlie for hooking me up with this one. And yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and have fun playing.